All right, I am excited. I am super excited because my wife actually wants to go see a nerdy, geeky, comic book-based film, The Batman. Now, this is nothing new, really, for my wife. Um, She is a Batman fan. She's not a fan of basically anything geeky. She's not a comic book fan. She's not a fan of uh, sci-fi, really. She's not a fan of all the stuff that I love and geek out over and, and podcast about. My wife is not really a big fan of, with one exception. She loves Batman and always has since we first got together. I mean, one of our first things that we did together early on in our relationship was we went and saw the final uh, Christopher Nolan Batman film, The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, We went to the drive-in and saw that together. And that was like early on in us dating, right? Um, The first summer of us dating. And you know, she informed me then. She's like, I've always loved Batman. I love Batman. So, you know, I might have thought she was more of a more of a, <laughs> a geek than she actually was just because that was like early on. I was like, oh, she's a Batman. She, you know, she's into Batman. Um, but no, I mean, I get it. The The appeal of Batman is, is much bigger than just, you know, geeks and comic book nerds and, 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 you know, people who love the source material or the cartoon or what have you. Um, but... It's not often I get to get this excited. Like when Batman versus Superman came out, she wasn't, she wasn't into that. But now that there's another standalone Batman film, and this is the first proper Batman film we've gotten, and wait for it, guys, ten years. That's right. The, the, the Dark Knight Rises came out in 2012, which is insane to me because I think about it, I'm like, oh, we've had a Batman though. We've had the Justice League. We've had. Um, Batman v Superman uh, so we've had these different iterations of Batman I and mean, we got uh, the epic epic Snyder cut of the Justice League um, and, and let me just say I am a huge fan of Batfleck I love Ben Affleck's portrayal of Batman and I wish we were going to get a lot more of it I really do uh, I, I would love to see a standalone Ben Affleck Batman film Unfortunately, that's we're not getting that. Um, but I will say, my wife is not super thrilled that it's Robert Pattinson. But man, I, 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 she, I'm just happy that she's down to see this movie. Uh, she did go see the uh, Joker with me, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, a few years ago, and, and really enjoyed that. Um, very different type of movie, though. Not you know, not Batman esque at all. But. I, I just love it so much. When there's something me and my wife can both geek out over, just like when Dexter came back earlier this year, um, you know, we were both so excited about it. It's something that we could enjoy together, you know. There are things that I will watch with her or do with her that it, it's mostly her thing, and I kind of, like, follow along um, and, and enjoy hanging out with her and talking about it, but probably wouldn't watch it on my own. You know, these things like 90 Day Fiance... Uh, that we enjoy, um, and even the the, the, the serial killer like uh, dramatizations and stuff, and the uh, men and women, uh, husbands and wives who murder each other, like shows, we like to enjoy together. You know, I probably wouldn't seek them out on my own just to watch, um, but we really enjoy doing it together. Now, but when there's something ultra geeky that's like I would totally watch anyway, and my wife expresses interest in it. That's so exciting to me. Like, I can't, I can't express how excited I am for this. Like, I, I'm not even mad that, that I won't get to see it opening day because, you know, she wants to wait for the bargain matinee day, the $5 movie day, which is like on Tuesdays. I, I'm not even mad about that. I don't even care. I'm so happy to wait those few extra days. Or even if she wants to wait till the next week, if she wants to wait a month, I'll wait. To go see a Batman movie with my wife. Like, this is exciting. And not only that, the movie looks phenomenal. I've been excited from the announcement of this thing. And I've only gotten more and more excited the more we find out about it. The more glimpses we get of it. I'm fully on board for a Robert Pattinson Batman. This Matt Reeves 
Batman film. And, you know, we find out so much, like, that it's based on uh, Batman Year One, which is one of my favorite Batman stories by Frank Miller. Um, and, and, you know, it, it might even bleed in some of this stuff that I've read recently, like The Long Halloween and, and um, Dark Victory, which I'm reading now. It's all in the same kind of world of Batman. And um, that, th- those early years of Batman, and that's what this movie is going to be bringing to life. And it just looks so damn gritty. It's like the Batman I love the most. The Batman I'm most excited to see. And I love the Christopher Nolan Batman films. Absolutely love them. Like, so far, those are my favorite of of any Batman films that have come out. I'm a big fan of Batman the Animated Series. But I'm telling you what... This, like, my wife said it. it. That's what got me so excited is that today um, she saw, like, an ad for the Batman. And she was just like, oh, hey, there's a new Batman movie coming out. And, you know, obviously, I've, I've been all over this. I've been talking about it on YouTube, on podcasts. I've been talking about it with friends for two years. I mean, we got a, we got a trailer, what, I think two years ago now. Two years ago we got the first trailer. Maybe, maybe it was a year and a half. Um, but we got that first trailer and... Oh, ever since that first trailer with the, with the, um, something in the way, Nirvana. Oh my God. That, that trailer was so damn awesome with the tape in the beginning, the tape stretching out and the DC symbol. Dude, this is, I haven't been this excited and especially for a DC film in a long time. And honestly, for a Batman film in a long time, like Batman v Superman, I didn't even see in the theater. Um, honestly, I, I, I kind of enjoyed it. Um, I, I like Zack Snyder's Justice League probably the most out of all of those Snyderverse films. But this Matt Reeves Batman, this, it, it's got me really, really excited. I just love the look of it. It looks so dark. It looks so gritty. It looks so, you know... Ah, it just looks like the criminal underbelly. Like, it just looks so stark, right? Ah, can't wait. Cannot wait. And just, you know, like I said, my wife brought it up. My wife brought it up. And there's a new Batman movie. I'll go see that. I was like, you will? Because, you know, I've been gearing up to see it for two years, three years, ever since they first announced that they're going to make one. And I remember when it first was announced, I was like... Is it really time for another Batman, like a new, like a different Batman and a different Batman story? And, you know, we've just had Ben Affleck portray him a couple times. But as I said, we haven't had a proper Batman standalone film since The Dark Knight Rises. And I'm really excited to see this. It looks great, man. With uh, I even went over the past few years knowing that... Robert Pattinson was going to be playing Bruce Wayne, I actually went, because I had heard that he was a really good actor, but, you know, I, like a lot of people, knew him as Edward, the sparkly vampire, you know? Um, but uh, what I've done in the past few couple years is is really dug into his catalog and checked him out as an actor, and I gotta say, I'm more excited than ever now that I've seen what this guy can do. Like, I, I highly respect him as an actor now. And, you know, I probably should have the whole time, but I just hadn't seen much that he was in. But I'm very excited. And Zoe Kravitz it looks to be an awesome Catwoman. I love the costume design for this. I love how this whole thing feels like, like, I don't know, like gritty, like dirty, like low budget almost. It's definitely not low budget. But you know what I mean? Like, the beginnings of Batman, the beginnings of Catwoman, where they didn't have all their shit together yet. They were just kind of throwing together costumes. I love that her Catwoman costume in the trailer is literally just, you know, a beanie with the eyes cut out. Like, I I love it. I love it. And I cannot wait to see this movie, and I cannot wait to see it with my wife. It, it just makes me so happy. It makes me so happy that... Like I said, it, it, she never wants to go see any of this stuff. She never wants to go see, like, 
Avengers or she doesn't watch any of the Disney Plus shows with me. Like these are all solo ventures for me. So to have something that we can both enjoy that's right up my geeky, nerdy alley and not something I'm kind of like just agreeing to watch. And same with her. She's not just agreeing to watch something. She genuinely wants to. And I genuinely want to. And it's, you know, I feel like it's my wheelhouse. It's my little world. And she's coming into it for a little bit. So I don't know. You know, it's the little things, right? Anyway, I, I wanted to express my excitement about my wife wanting to see the Batman. And I can't wait. March 4th or whenever we end up seeing it cannot come soon enough. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this podcast, video, however you're listening, please share it, like it, all that good stuff. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what do you think of the Snyderverse? What do you think of the Ben Affleck Batman? And what do you think about this new Matt Reeves Batman that we're about to get? Love to talk about it with you guys. I love nerding out in the comments. So leave me comments. And if you're listening in podcast form, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at Real Brett Scott. We can talk over there. I will talk for days about this shit. So I'm not kidding. Hit me up. Don't, don't, don't hesitate. I love it. Love talking nerd, geek, Batman, comic book, sci-fi, all that good stuff. So yeah, hit me up. And yeah, if you enjoy videos like this, I do a lot of entertainment and pop culture content. Uh, it's all kinds of stuff like this. Um, but I also throw in some uh, stories from my questionable youth for good measure from time to time. And uh, just little updates about my family life and stuff like that. So if you're interested at all in that and getting something new and interesting in your feed every day, then please subscribe to the YouTube channel or favorite or follow the podcast. And if you do that, if you decide to stick around, then I will likely talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks.